Hi guys, my name is Cesar Farias and in this video I will show you how to create a nice and clean test animation using a mask and expression. So let's go to Fusion and start. The first that we need is add a background node, then change the color to white and add a test node. Now I will connect my test node to the background. In the test node, I will type motion, change the color to black and make some adjustments. Ok, now I will create the bar, then I will use it to animate. I will add a background node and add a rectangle mask. Let's fix the size. I will connect my bar on the merge node and now we have the bar ready. I will move the composition to create more space and duplicate the node test and connect it to the composition. For this node, I will press F2 and change the name to Text2 and type Fusion on the Spectre. Now that we have two test nodes, we need a mask, so I will add a rectangle and I will adjust the position. And I will connect the mask to the test nodes. Now if I move the rectangle, you can see the mask working, but I want a different behavior to mask. So on test 2, I will click in settings and select apply mask inverted. Now, when I move the mask, we can see the effect working. I want my mask to follow my bar, so I don't need to add any keyframes to the mask. I will select the mask on the inspector. With the right click, I will select Modify with Offset Position. Now, on the modifiers tab, I will use position and offset to make my mask follow the bar. I will create a simple expression for the position. Right click and select expression, delete all values. Now, I will connect the mask position with the bar position, so the expression will be rectangle1.center. Now, if I move my bar, the mask is following, but the position is not right. No problem. Let's return to the mask and use the offset position to fix this. Perfect. Now my setup is ready. I have two test nodes, a bar and a mask. So, if I move the bar, the mask is following. So let's animate the bar. I will go to frame 15 and I will create a keyframe for the height. Now I move to frame 0 and reduce the bar. And now I have my bar animated. I will click on spline and make the animation smooth, adjusting the curves. Now let's move to frame 18 and create a keyframe by clicking on center. Move to frame 13 and move the bar to the right. So the first animation is done, the mask is working. Now let's fix the curve, I will press F4 to maximize the window and let's see. Ok, much better. Now, when the bar returns, I want to change the first test using the same node. So let's animate the bar again. Let's fix the curve to make the animation better.
Now, when the bar returns to the first position, I will change the word motion to design. While the word motion is hiding by the mask, I will click on test one. And I will create a keyframe for the test. I move just one keyframe to frame 31. And I will change it to design. When the bar returns, the mask will reveal the word design. So, using this setup, I can change how many words I need just using these two nodes. So now let's make the last bar animation. I will move to frame 57, create a keyframe, move to frame 70, and move the bar to the right. Because it's the last part, I want to hide the word fusion. In this case, the word fusion is showing because the mask is working and inverted for this node. So while the word fusion is hidden by the mask, in the inspector, I will click on shading and I will create a keyframe for the opacity. I will move just one frame and turn down the opacity. Now, if I play the animation, I have nothing to show. I just need to fix the curves that I forgot. So let's do it now. Okay, the animation is ready. I just need to fix some keyframes that are too fast. So I will open keyframes, press F4 and move the last keyframe to make the animation a little bit longer. Ok, now the time is good. I just need to animate the bar to match with the beginning. Here is the last position, so I will go to frame 82 Create a keyframe for height Jump to frame 95 And turn height to 0 And I will make the curve smooth And now the animation is done If I want to make this animation transparent to use with a video all I need to do is disconnect the background. So let's move to the Add tab and add some video in the background. I will just change the color to white to make it easier to read. So now we have a very nice animation super clean using a mask and an expression. Another option is to use the same setup to explore another kind of animation. So I will replace the word fusion with motion and make all test nodes the same. Ok, so now we just have the word motion. In the first test node I will click on shading in the inspector and change the appearance to outline. Let's play. Alright, looks good. And, and I can improve the animation. So when the mask returns, I can change the appearance from outline to some color. I will click on test 1, go to shading and create a keyframe on appearance and color. I will move just one frame to frame 39 and change the appearance to solid and the color to blue. Now we have this nice test effect. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you like, please subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!